Hello and welcome back to Getting Handsy. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the Dreadball Deluxe Box um, from Mantic. Basically it's a, a two-player sports game, uh, sports board game, where there's lots of violence as well. So let's take a look what's inside. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the board. Here it is. Uh, two sides. There's the uh, score as well. And then up here is the time, uh, so the amount of turns. They're color-coded to make it easier, so if you're white, you always go on the white ones. If you're red, you always go on the red ones. Um, basically, you try and score in one of these three zones. You can only score from the zones in here. And you try and get the, amount, the, the most amount of points, basically. Um, the score tracker goes back and forth, so that's why it goes up to seven on each side. If you get to seven, you automatically win, I believe. So there's also the the reserve box where players go who are not in the game but can be pulled into the game, and they come in here. There's also the like injury penalty box over here. So this is the amount of turns that it will take for them to get out. So. If it's a really rough injury, they're going to be out for three, so on and so forth. So that is the the board. Let's take a look at the rest of the stuff. So here's a quick look at everything that came in the box. Um, I went ahead and put all the players together. Uh, some of them require a little bit of glue, uh, like the giant orcs and stuff. But uh, basically, there's the two teams that come in the box, referee, two balls, um, a number of cardboard uh, indicators uh, or uh, pieces so like uh, you get a number of actions per turn so there's a cardboard piece uh, or a cardboard piece for that uh, there are also a number of clear bases to put on the bottoms of the players I did not do that because I've seen some really cool uh, painting of the bases and I wanted to do that prior to putting them together there's also a deck for Uh, the fan support, basically, during the game, you can get special ability or special fan support cards that you draw. So uh, there's also dice, um, one set for each side, and then a number of uh, what are called coaching dice. So they're like special dice that you can get occasionally. Um, there's a big uh, just a, a packet of, uh, or not packet, uh, a pad, I guess, for if you want to make your own team. You can write down their names, and then you can go through and make all of their stats and abilities and stuff. And then you can actually level them up over the, over the season, if you decide to make a season. The rule book, it's pretty big. Uh, but it's because it has lots of pictures. Um, I mean, there's tons of pictures, rules, uh, shows all the stats for different teams. Again, there are only two teams in this box. Uh, the first one is the Tron Tech 29ers. They're kind of like the enforcer team. The second group that comes in here are the Green Moon Smackers. Oops. Green Moon Smackers. They're the Orc or Marauder team, I guess, as they call them in the uh, Mantic universe. Uh, there are different types of players, basically. The Trontech 29ers, the Marauder, or uh, not Marauders, the. They are the Enforcer team. Uh, they have three different types of character or, uh, players. The first is a guard. They're the big brute uh, guys. They go in, you know, can't do a whole lot like with the balls, but they're huge, can push people around. The second are the jacks. They're kind of like, a, as they call them, jack of all traits. They do a little bit of everything. Not great at um, one thing in particular, uh, but they're decent, I guess. Then there's the strikers. Uh, they are the, the specialists who 
specialize in scoring goals. Uh, they uh, not all teams have all of these, uh, as we'll take a look at the Marauders or the uh, Smackers, Green Moon Smackers. Uh, they only have two types. They have the guards, the big brutes, and then they only have jacks. Uh, they don't have any strikers, so they have no specialists. They just have a bunch of little jacks. So, get these and those. Uh, again, there's also a referee. He looks like this. Um, there are actually fouls and stuff in the game, and if the referee sees them, you can be penalized. Uh, these are the cardboard tokens we were talking about before that show uh, each uh, team has a set and then you use those to show your actions that you've used and then all the plastic faces so again there's not a whole lot to this starter box but it's enough to get you playing uh, there are a number of teams available outside of the starter box um, so go take a look again this is Dreadball this is the deluxe box uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And come back and we'll have some more videos for you. Thanks. Bye.